Tired of the same old boring reality? Step into our time machine powered by historical intrigue. We're on a mission to collect the coolest stuff from the dustiest corners of history, and this time we're pulling out all the stops. Think Indiana Jones with better jokes and even cooler discoveries. So channel your inner explorer and get ready for an adventure through the ages. Charlemagne's Coin In early 2022, a young man in France dreams of owning a house but faces financial challenges. Seeking a solution, he recalls his grandfather's dusty coin collection. Hopefully, it may hold value. Taking the coins to an expert, he discovers a hidden treasure, a 1,200-year-old silver coin featuring the portrait of Charlemagne, the renowned King of the Franks and Holy Roman Emperor. Charlemagne, a significant figure in medieval Europe, united Western Europe, revived learning, and fostered the Carolingian Renaissance after being crowned emperor in 800. The coin, a rare and well-preserved depiction, even verifies details from Charlemagne's biographer. The reverse of the coin holds further intrigue, a Christian cross and an unidentified building, possibly minted in Charlemagne's birthplace, Archon. The young man lists a coin on eBay, catching the attention of the Root Charlemagne Museum Group in Germany. Eager to preserve history, they acquire the coin, keeping the purchase price confidential. More than a silver artifact, Charlemagne's coin serves as a tangible link to a crucial period in European history. It narrates tales of conquest, cultural revival, and the enduring legacy of a legendary emperor. As the Root Charlemagne Museum delves into this precious relic, the captivating stories it unfolds are bound to enrich our understanding of the past. 50 Bottles of 19th Century Gin in the early months of 2022, workers digging in the ground made a surprising find. They uncovered a hidden cellar that had been forgotten for a long time. At first, people were scared, thinking it might contain dangerous leftover things from a war. But as experts studied the cellar, the fear turned into amazement. Instead of dangerous things, they found something unexpected in the dark, a collection of bottles. There were 50 of them made of stoneware and holding some kind of liquid. Through scientific testing, they discovered it was juniper gin, a drink that echoed memories from the 1800s. These weren't just any bottles, each one had marks from the past, labels showing a nearby company that still makes gin and mysterious W awards, suggesting they won prizes long ago. It wasn't just a forgotten storage space, it was like a time capsule, carefully put together, maybe for a celebration that never happened. Now, these bottles are not just interesting objects, they are like windows into the history of Solkovich. Museums want to keep them to remember the forgotten celebration they represent. The story of these bottles isn't just about what's inside them, it's about strength, the echoes of history kept in liquid, waiting to be opened and enjoyed. The Mystery of the Venus of Lel Long, long ago, way before even writing existed, people made amazing art. The Venus of Lel is one such piece, carved way back between 18,000 and 20,000 years ago. It's like a flat sculpture of a lady, curvy and proud, not like anything we see today. Back then, these lady figures were pretty popular, like rock stars of art. And guess what? Some experts think they were used in special ceremonies for making babies. Yep, fertility magic. The Venus of Lel is extra special because of her horn. It has 13 lines, just like the moon changing every 13 days, and also like a woman's monthly cycle. And her other hand is red, maybe meant to be blood, showing life and babies again. We might never know for sure what these ancient artists were thinking, but it's cool to see how creative they were even thousands of years ago. Rome unearths its ancient fleet. Imagine digging for a new airport and finding an ancient Roman port, that's exactly what happened in the 1950s in Italy. Workers stumbled upon an amazing hidden treasure, and instead of an airport, they built a museum, the Museum of Roman Ships, a Fiumicino. The ships in this museum are like time capsules, taking us back to the days of Emperor Claudius around the year 46 AD. They are incredibly well-preserved, despite being centuries old. There are all kinds of ships, from tiny fishing boats to giant Roman freighters, these freighters were supersized, carrying up to 1,500 tons of grain each. Nobody built ships that big again until the 1700s. Some ships even held their forgotten cargo from containers of oil headed to Egypt to other mysterious goods. 
They were all ready to set sail, but something stopped them. Nobody knows why these ships and the port were abandoned, but it seems like they were carefully buried on purpose. The secret port and its fleet of ships are like a whisper from the past, hinting at the power and mystery of ancient Rome. They give us a glimpse into a time when ships ruled the waves and empires traded across the sea. Europe's Mystery Sticks Digging deep in Europe's dusty path, archaeologists keep finding strange sticks made of deer antlers. Each has a hole in the middle like a straw for giants. They call them perforated battens, but nobody knows what they're used for. Some think they were magic wands waved in ancient ceremonies, maybe whispering spells to the gods. Others believe they were just handy tools, like a wrench for fixing spears and arrows after a hunt. Maybe even a ruler for making sure your cave painting of a mammoth was the right size. The twisty patterns and animal pictures carved on them make things even more confusing. Were they just pretty doodles or clues to their secret purpose? One thing's for sure, these sticks were super popular. They popped up all over Europe, used by humans for a whopping 10,000 years, way longer than any smartphone. And guess what? Across the ocean, the Clovis people in America had their own version, called the Murray Springs Shaft Wrench. It seems humans loved sticks with holes, no matter where they lived. So the next time you see a picture of a perforated baton, take a moment to think about its secrets. Maybe it was a fancy magic wand, a helpful tool, or maybe both. The mystery continues, but that's part of the fun of history, isn't it? Czech Mystery Deep in the Czech Republic, hidden beneath the grass, lies a giant puzzle, a 7,000-year-old ring of ditches called the Venor structure. It's older than Stonehenge and even the Egyptian pyramids. Archaeologists stumbled upon it in the 1980s, but only recently started digging deeper. They hope to finally unlock its secrets and understand why ancient people built it. This ring is special because it's the oldest example of people building things on purpose in all of Europe. It's like a giant fingerprint from the Stone Age. The Venor structure has three entrances, like hallways leading into someone's mysterious past. Experts think it might have been a marketplace, a sacred place for ceremonies, or even maybe a school for teaching ancient wisdom. New pictures and diggings are happening this year, so hopefully we'll learn more soon. Maybe by uncovering this puzzle, we can see through the eyes of those who lived so long ago. Iran's Wolf Wall Deep in Iran, slithering across 121 miles of mountains and rivers, lies the mighty Wolf Wall of Gorgon. It's the second longest wall in the world, built by the Sasanian Empire way back in the 5th century. Think dinosaurs and you're close. Why did they build such a giant snake of a wall? To keep bad guys out, mostly. These bad guys were called the Huns, fierce warriors who liked to raid and conquer. So the Sasanian Emperor said, no way, Jose, and built this bricky barrier. The wall's nickname is the Red Snake because it's made entirely of red mud bricks. Imagine the effort. They probably had hundreds of people making millions of bricks in special ovens, then dragged them to the wall using miles of canals like rivers. No trucks back then. Up to 36,000 soldiers lived along the wall like giant snakeskin guards. But when did they stop using it? Nobody knows for sure. Some say it's the same wall mentioned in the Quran, built by a prophet to keep out scary people. Others say Alexander the Great built it, which is probably a bit far-fetched. The mystery of the Red Snake lives on, slithering through history like a whisper from the past. Maybe someday we'll know all its secrets, but for now it remains a powerful reminder of human ingenuity and the epic battle between empires and invaders. The Sneaky Cup Ever wish your cup could tell you when you've had enough? Meet the Pythagoras Cup, also known as the Tantulus Cup the trickiest drinking vessel in history. This clever cup lets you sip your water or wine just fine, up to a certain point. But go greedy and pour too much, and surprise, the whole thing empties out the bottom, leaving you with a big old oops and maybe a wet lap. Some say this genius invention belongs to the famous Pythagoras, though nobody's found proof yet. The story goes that he was tired of his workers chugging too much wine on the job, so he built this sneaky cup to teach them a lesson in moderation or maybe just keep them sober enough to work straight. The cup's design is surprisingly complicated for its time. 
It's got a hidden pipe inside shaped like a U that builds pressure as you fill it up. When the pressure gets too high, poof, your drink takes a shortcut back out the bottom. Whatever its purpose, prank or temperance tool, there's no denying the ingenuity of this ancient trick cup. So next time you raise a glass, remember the Pythagoras cup, a clever reminder that sometimes too much of a good thing can leave you empty-handed and maybe a little damp. Roswell Rock In 2004, just outside the town of Roswell, famous for its alleged UFO crash, something strange was found, the Roswell Rock. No spaceships this time, though. This peculiar stone has baffled scientists and archaeologists ever since. Most folks agree the Roswell UFO incident was a clever prank, but this rock? Not so easy to explain away. This strange object doesn't come on tape or film. It's right there in your hand. The rock has some weird magnetic tricks. Hold a magnet near one end and it spins like a tiny planet. Flip it over and the magnet makes it spin the other way. Spooky, right? Then there are those moon symbols carved on its surface. They're eerily similar to the ones found in mysterious crop circles all over the United States. Makes you wonder. Now, most scientists and archaeologists call it a hoax, but here's the kicker. They can't find any tool marks on the rock. Not a scratch, not a dent, not even under a fancy microscope. How was it made then? That's the million-dollar question. So, even though a hoax seems most likely, the Roswell Rock keeps whispering its secrets to the desert wind. Who knows, maybe someday we'll unravel its mystery and discover if it's just a curious souvenir or something truly out of this world. Treasure Dig in England Last April, in the English county of Gloucestershire, archaeologists stumbled upon a cool discovery. During a planned dig, they found seven graves from Anglo-Saxon times packed with amazing treasures. The most exciting finds were seven saucer brooches made of gold and fancy metal. These weren't just ornaments, they were like fancy buttons used to hold clothes together. They were found near the chest bones of the buried people, showing they were wearing them when they were laid to rest. The brooches all share the same pretty geometric patterns, suggesting they were made from the same sheet of metal. And guess what? Only rich folks back then could afford such bling, so these brooches were like fancy name tags, showing everyone how important their owners were. Now, these incredible finds are getting a spa treatment and a close examination by experts. After that, they'll find a permanent home in one of Gloucestershire's many museums, where everyone can see and learn about these fascinating pieces of Anglo-Saxon history. In a parallel to the ancient Anglo-Saxon brooches discovered in Gloucestershire County, imagine stumbling upon a colossal disc adorned with cryptic markings in the midst of a desert. Just as the saucer brooches revealed the high status of their owners in Anglo-Saxon England, this monumental object in the desert whispers tales of an ancient civilization, sparking curiosity about the significance of its markings and the people who once called the desolate sands their home. Each artifact, whether a saucer brooch or a colossal disc, becomes a gateway to unraveling the mysteries of our shared human history. Rome's Big Surprise Forget boring history, imagine digging under Emperor Nero's palace in Rome in 2018 and discovering a hidden sphinx room filled with cool paintings of panthers, centaurs, and a giant lion-human. Nero wasn't just about blazing things up and jamming tunes. The wall paintings in this secret chamber spill the beans. Turns out he was a mystery and myth enthusiast. Maybe this hidden spot was his escape from the chaos of being emperor, a quiet place to ponder the enigmatic. Or perhaps it hosted hush-hush gatherings with buddies, cooking up who-knows-what schemes. Why was it hidden? What happened inside? Archaeologists are still piecing it together, showing that history is full of surprises and cool secrets waiting to be uncovered. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, do share, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up on our next videos.